In today's video, we're going to be talking about unauthorized versus forbidden in two minutes or less. Let's get started. So an unauthorized is an HTTP 401 and a forbidden is an HTTP 403. Uh, they're very similar, but they are also very different and used in very different scenarios. Uh, unauthorized is kind of a misnomer because it's more unauthenticated is a more of a correct word for that. But anyway, doesn't matter. It is what it is. So an unauthorized means you provided invalid credentials or you didn't provide any credentials at all. Now this could be uh, no credentials. Maybe you're supposed to have basic or a, a, a Java web token and you haven't provided one. Or let's say your credentials are wrong or they could be expired credentials or anything of that nature. Basically, you didn't provide the things to prove who you are. So the server says, 401 unauthorized, you can make the request again, but please provide valid credentials this time. And that's all it's saying. Uh, 403 is a little different. It's saying, you provided valid credentials, we know who you are, we trust who you say you are, and you could be Joe Schmo, whoever you want to be, but you don't have permissions to do whatever you're trying to do. Now let's, that could be used for maybe you're trying to make a new user in a system and you don't have permission for that, or you're trying to hit a post request and the server says, okay, I know who you are, but you still don't have permission to do this. Uh, the client should not be repeating this request as no matter how many times you send it, you still don't have permission. Um, you could try again with different credentials, I guess, but yeah, that's 401 versus 403. Thanks for watching.